always believed in God ever since I was a little girl. Papa never let us forget a Sunday. I always knew God was good to me, but I've never questioned his goodness more than I did right now. I'm sorry, ma'am. I did not mean to startle you. You okay, ma'am? I'm fine. Let me help you clean that up. You don't look too good. It's okay. You can go. I'll take care of this. Ma'am, it was kind of my fault. Look, what do you want? Oh, I just want to help you clean that up. No. Why are you here? What are you trying to sell? Oh, I got some books here for you to see. I'm not interested. Ma'am, if I could just show you a little bit of these. Got some wonderful books for your kids. Maybe some romance novels for yourself. I think your husband would really like some of these here sports books. My husband is dead. I'm getting older and a little hard of hearing. What was that? I, I really think you'd like some Say of these. Say my husband is dead. Oh. I did not mean to pry. I'm, I'm very, very sorry for your loss, ma'am. I'm, I'm sorry I even came by. Ma'am? Ma'am! You said you could come into my house. Ma'am, you passed out right there on the floor and hit your head pretty good, too. Now, see there? Now, take it easy. Can you take me in the kitchen? I need a cup of coffee. Sure thing. over there. Yes, ma'am. I, I brewed a fresh pot while you was out. I thought it might do you some good. How long was I out? Oh, about 15 minutes or so. Where might you keep the spoons? No. <laughs> Sorry. The spoons are over in that drawer. Are you sure you're feeling all right, miss? Like I said at the door, you don't look too well. Just one of them bad days, I guess. Oh, poor thing. I, I get those. Something I can help you with? No. Now, you're not going to have another one of those passing out spells, are you? No. I think I should be fine. It's a little hot today. You ain't kidding. So who are you? I've never seen you around these parts before. I'm a peddler. I go door to door selling these here books. Are you new around here? I guess you could say that. Why aren't you trying to sell me one of them books there? Isn't it how you make a living? Well, life ain't just about a sale. I tried to sell you one at the door. That didn't work, did it? And then I seen you fall on the floor. Well, I was taught you help people who need helping. And what was I going to do? Just leave you there? Well, 
I appreciate your help, I really do. You get a lot of business selling books, being that you're a... A Negro? Sometimes. I mean, getting the door slammed in your face is part of the business, colored or not. You know what? I've taken up too much of your time. I'm going to get out of your way. Uh, you ought to think about getting yourself some rest, miss. Actually, if you'd like to stay and finish your coffee, I really don't mind your company. I guess I can stay for a minute. Uh, it is nice to get out of that sun. And this is a good cup of coffee. So where are you from? Oh, up north, uh, near Stella. City slicker, huh? Uh, lived there most of my life. What about you? You been there all your life? Yep. Grew up with my three older sisters and one younger brother. Used to live right there down the road. We had a great time growing up together. We used to run through them sprinklers just like them kids is doing right now. But then I got married and they's all moved away now. Their families and jobs take them elsewhere? They didn't care for my husband. Mom and Papa neither. What for? Said he was an animal. Not like that. He wasn't like that at all. Right before the wedding, they was just gone. Didn't come back. Lost most of my friends, too. I loved him, though. How could someone hate another human being so much to disown their own family? I've seen plenty of that myself. all I had left. I was already struggling to get by and the house is going to be foreclosed. I don't know what to do no more. I guess I don't know. I mean, no one really knows why someone died. <laughs> he was so young. I didn't even get a chance to say goodbye. <laughs> he left early like most mornings. Then he had a heart attack at work. Mr. Kevin, why would God do a thing like I don't reckon I know why. All I know is that, well, life is kind of like a that book. I mean, we all have chapters in our lives. Closing of a chapter can be exciting and happy. Or say But there's something great that happens at the end of every chapter, no matter what the cause. Another's born. Why do books have to end? There's a beginning, there's gotta be an end. 
Some books are longer than others, even when we wish it wasn't so. But, well, that's for the author to decide. Stay my welcome. Oh no, you're fine. Oh, I got some more rounds to make before I go on in for the evening. But I'm much obliged for the coffee. You're gonna be okay. Yeah. Thank you for helping me. I'm talking. Thank you for inviting me in to visit. It's been a long time since I had that privilege. First time in a white person's home. Oh, and ma'am, I've seen a book there in your den. It's on the third row, fourth from the end. It's a good book. You should read it sometime. God did something that day. I knowed exactly what it was, bringing that man into my life. I never saw him again. Maybe he moved away, but I'll never forget him. He was the first character I met in the next chapter of my life.